Hi there. In this video we are going to be installing some Atlas filtry water filters or purifiers, whatever you want to call them. They seem to be the 10 inch version. I'm presumably uh, 10 inch is the height of them. Yes, there are these are the biggest that I s I've seen in the store where I bought them. There are smaller and really small ones, but I've got the biggest ones. They seem to have an app that you can install and probably they tell you, uh, they remind you when to replace your filters or to check them. And uh, yeah, obviously got some more stuff in here. This thing that you uh, actually open them up with because it's quite hard with your hand to open them up, them up or tighten them. A particle filter. I don't know exactly, yeah, here it says some info about it. A charcoal filter. And I think we also got, a, not one actually, but two supports, which attach in the top part of these things, so you can mount them onto the wall. So. Let's get to it. Decide the position, install the supports, install this thing, then put the filters in and hope for the best. Getting ready to attach the supports onto this thing. Uh, just a word of warning. Don't use screws that are too long. So check like this. The maximum is uh, this plus the thickness of this material. So let me try and hold it with one hand. We are safe. We are not going to go into this because if you go into that, obviously you will have a water leak. Uh, the thickness of this material is about this and the hole doesn't go into the dome itself. It, it's only up to here. <clears throat> okay left side at least in the position that i'm holding this is in right side is out this is how it will be going onto the wall in my case yes this is made in italy first impression about the plastics the type of plastic that will not crack even if you try to it will bend and become a bit white where you bent it but it will not crack for this about the same you can hear it, it's not a uh, breakable, a shatter, uh, e an easy actually to shatter plastic. It's again a type that will bend before shattering. So yeah, obviously the materials uh, well uh, chosen by them. This is all the, also made in Italy, it's from the same company basically. I think I'm only going to use two holes on this and two holes on the other one. I don't think I'm going to use all three of them because I do have some pipes in that wall and I I will play a bit of uh, find the pipe or try to avoid the pipe uh, roulette, but yeah, I feel um, a bit luckier with only two screws in this and honestly, the type of screws that I will put in are stronger than this whole bracket itself. So two of them, yeah, enough. Enough rambling, let's screw this uh, one into the other and as you can see it's just giving you enough clearance to not hit the wall so it's not going to protrude too much from the wall just by having it uh, attached to these uh, brackets. Installed the app and uh, registered and i think i need to scan a code on this box to activate uh, or to find my my particular product these things are attached so what's next is to mark on the wall where i need to drill the holes but let's get into this i want to show exactly the model senior duplex plus 3p <coughs> whatever three uh, quarters of inch Let's see what else do we have here. These are the sizes, so I'm here. There's an even bigger one and it's a pet. 
the plastic is PET, PET. S6 I think means the type of connection this is what we have and FO is, this is what we have and uh, 3P seems to be wait what? 3P is this one yeah yeah yeah, yeah sorry we have 3P so we are not tightening directly the glass the plastic actually the transparent one we are we have um, something on top of it that uh, tightens so this is the decoding for the models and uh, yeah here they show you where you can install them i installing them basically at the entrance of the whole house that's why i bought bigger ones and hopefully they will not get uh, filled too quickly but uh, remains to be seen doesn't it i think this uh, stops particles up to 25 microns there are filters that only go to 50 microns and i think they are even tighter than these ones but probably those get full really quickly and the mosquito on my hand so I'll be back in a second so i'm back these are the dimensions of the cartridge so it's 25 centimeters high and 6.1 centimeters wide uh, anyway again there are filters that retain less and there are washable particle filters if you don't want to continue to buy these things but i think it's about two dollars one of these so yeah i can get it this one for taste and odor activated uh, carbon activated charcoal whatever you want to call it all should be good hopefully so this goes first this goes second in line uh, I don't know if we have any other interesting info in here they tell you to download if you want the PDF instructions by scanning this code but we also have the instructions in here so I'm going to use that and in the future if I need to I will download let me give you a close-up of the code if any of you doesn't have it don't have it anymore and you need to scan it just pause and scan it there's that let's go into the app and see presumably this is the code that we need to scan and we are into the app if I go to my list my products nothing activate product scan the barcode and then scan the cartridges okay cool turn on notifications probably it will tell you hey mm, your cartridges are kind of old you might need to <laughs> replace them okay don't show this again continue let's see yeah okay so save did i save it yeah it did cool uh, and it says that I have two cartridges in this thing so install let's go and scan the first one uh, it cannot scan it because it's oh it did in the end let's see if it sees everything save haha <laughs> And it's green it's happy because it's new let's install another one it's so the second one again green cool so basically that's it let's see old cartridge list no old cartridges yeah that's about it so everything is good and hopefully we will get a notification when they should be replaced i think but that depends a lot on how much water you consume so ah. and and this thing is on the wall it's quite close to this so most likely i will cancel this because there is another one right above it i don't know why the builder of the house decided to have one right here at this level which is below the main uh, water entry in the house 
doesn't really make sense. Yes, water in theory will never get at this level because I have this drain right here and there's a door right there. So <laughs> yeah, but this could spray onto it. I have differential fuses, so in theory not even that could cause any issues, but I will still uh, seal all of this, uh, fully cancel it off because I'm not going to use it, but yeah, a bit late now to cancel it completely from the start, so I will seal it. Anyway, everything is told, only four screws, that's more than enough, this thing isn't going anywhere. Uh, if I close this and go here and close this, no water is entering the system and no water uh, can come back from the house to uh, drip out. So the only water that I will uh, deal with is the water already contained in these things, which isn't that much. So there shouldn't be big spills. So at this point, what's next? Open up the cloth filter, particle filter, install it in this and in the first one where the entry is. And then the second one uh, in here, the charcoal. Here is what they say about this filter. In theory, lifespan six months. From what I see here, the filter does not fully center on that middle part because that's a bit smaller than the hole, but it will stay on it. And then basically the side of it will dig into the filter itself. On the top side, the same. It will center and the sides of it will dig into the material of the filter when we are tightening it in place. Filter is in. Now let's finish uh, tightening this thing. I think I almost finished by hand, honestly. I don't dare tighten it more than this. I don't think it, it can drip at this level. Let me just try a bit more, but honestly, no, doesn't make sense. Nah, this is fully tightened. Now let me do the second one, which this is the bottom part and this is the top part that will seal. This is the activated uh, carbon filter for chlorine, chloride, whatever, three months. So this one, you change it a bit sooner. Yes, it depends on how much water you consume, but we don't consume too much water. So presumably the time is okay. And it's into the container and now we just put it in here and start tightening with one hand because we are filming without a tripod and I cannot do it. <laughs> Be back in a second. Okay, it goes quite easily up until the end when we kind of need this thing to fully tighten it in place. Let's see if I can move it. No, I cannot. Like this, maybe. Anyway, for it to latch. No, it doesn't really want to latch. Yep, I think it's fully tightened. So, at this point, release the water and um, free the air through here and through here. So, there's no air inside the containers. Okay, before putting water into this, let me tell you what we didn't do. They tell you to use um, a, a valve that prevents backflow, so water coming back into this, if mains water somehow stops. Um, they tell you to use um, a chamber, expansion chamber or something like that, so it prevents uh, flow, uh, heats from the water when water comes with big pressure all of a sudden don't have one of, th of those either and they tell you to oil the o-rings before tightening didn't do that also so maybe it was better to read the manual before but now it's done and we will see if in time anything happens we will uh, take that into consideration so at this point uh, let me just start uh, putting water into the system and hope everything goes as planned okay let's see this I fully open this one and with this one I can slowly let water into the system. Everything else is open so they will not interfere. 
we should see water and we start to see water and we also see a drip which is not good where is it coming from mm -hmm. this one is dripping right there because it wasn't uh, heated up presumably that's quite bad I closed everything up and now it will be a pain to weld that one let's see take number two uh, this one was closed so open it up and slowly start to put water in you can see it going in there so it goes through the outside and then through the ins it through the filter and through the inside hole into the next one and now quite soon we should see it coming into this one If everything is going according to plan, at least we don't see any dripping and it's coming into this one and you can see it quickly drawing it in. As I can see it, I think there are three holes through which water uh, drips into both of them. Let's give it a bit, a bit more speed to fill up. Might not have where to push the air because I don't think there are any faucets open in the rest of the house. So basically it's just filling the pipes, pressurizing the pipes now. Yep, that's about it. So at this point in theory, hey, what you're doing there, fly? They are full and we should check here to see if we have uh, any air left and get it out. And let's see. Ah, come on, this one is not good. We need a flat one. Now let's see what we get. Okay, and it's pouring water down in there. So this one is full. Yep, there's no air in that one. I'm just going to close it back up. And that's about it. And yes, it seems this is really easy to damage. So, oh, and it actually has a hole in the middle where a flathead could go a bit, actually not, yeah, flathead or Phillips could go deeper. That's a bit weird. Anyway, let's see the second one. This one should have some air in there. Yeah, and I heard the air coming out. You can hear it. I think we are letting out air from more than this thing, probably from the installation also. Okay. Should have opened up a faucet somewhere. And we are dripping water. At this point, close it and we are done both of them are full of uh, water and a mosquito flying around and we have no more drips which is perfect i'll just wipe this whole thing and that's about it get back to you when these things uh, start getting dirty and uh, maybe change them we'll see Forgot to tell you, after uh, replacing the, these things or after doing the first installation, you need to let uh, a faucet run for at least five minutes to clean up everything in here. And if you wonder why we don't filter this water, only this water, well, 
this one is going outside to the garden so makes no sense to uh, make the filters dirty with water that you put uh, on plants and this is how the filters look after about one month or something like that this one uh, got into this state quite quickly in a few days but then uh, seemed to remain like this so basically i think it's iron content from the water that actually it's it's basically rust i think because i don't see a lot of uh, deposits on it it's just it changed color the, as simple as that but i don't see any residues that much on it so yeah anyway it's doing its job obviously this one you cannot really see any changes to it water seems to to have a decent taste although we are not yet drinking this water but i asked our neighbors and most of them are drinking it without even filters i will take it probably someday in the future to give it a test uh, and see if i decide to drink it if we decide to drink it or not but at least for uh, uh, i don't know cooking or stuff like that with these filters i'm quite confident that uh, it's all good as you can see i got a notification from my atlas app telling me to check my filter and i think i got one uh, a while ago also uh, but yeah i wanted to change both filters at the same time although one of them should have been already changed so we are in the app now and this one uh, gave me the notification earlier and obviously it said 0% because yeah I should have already changed it and this is the one that gave us uh, the notification now and it's at 5% so basically it's giving you time when you get the notification to buy a replacement. I already have replacements uh, for both of them and we will do the change and here we are way more than uh, it should be later i think it's more than half a year later maybe even nine months later instead of three months and this will never ever happen again to let these things sit for too long just look at them what color they have do not ever do this change them every three months but I didn't want to change them until I had something fixed. You might be wondering what? No more socket over here. So uh, <laughs> I uh, cancelled the socket, sealed off everything, uh, I don't know, filled the hole and then painted on top because I don't want a socket near this. It's just dumb and dangerous. So that was fully cancelled like it never was there and I didn't want to film before uh, removing that because I don't want anybody getting an idea that you can put these things next to a socket. You cannot. In case something happens and they crack and water starts to burst everywhere, you don't want a socket near them. So at this point, uh, close this thing, which is the direction basically this makes sure the water from inside the house cannot come back through this when i start opening them up and then on the other side i will close the entry point into them and then i will come with something underneath so when i start to open it water has somewhere to go and not in here and just as a backup this always sits here this is a water sensor that alerts me on my phone and uh, on a device in my house by beeping it. So if anything happens, I know really quickly. So let's close that off and start opening these things up and replacing them with these filters. But then again, I also want to tell you something else. This filter really good. This one, it's quite cheap. It does what it needs to do, but if you have plastic pipes in your house I really find found out uh, by chance uh, on uh, a YouTube video that plastic pipes 
most types are affected by chlorine. So the chlorine in the water destroys them, makes them start to flake on the inside and clogs them and in time even makes them burst. So I want to remove as much chlorine as I can. This only filters particles, does not remove chlorine. This does remove chlorine, but if I put two of these, I have nothing to filter particles. But I found a type of filters that remove chlorine and also do this. So they are somehow a mixture of these two. And that will be in first, but they are ordered and they are taking a few months to come because they are not available in my country. Figure that. So they are bringing them, especially for me, I bought six of them, so I have them for a while. I will have them for a while, but uh, when I get close to finishing them, I, I'm going to order again. Yeah, there's that. So I'm going to have that one mixture filter, but that will not be shown in this video because who knows how long it will take for them to come, but at least three months I'm set with this. A mixture filter there and then one of these will be in here. So two filters, one filtering and chlorine and one only chlorine. Ah, so yeah, there's that. It's not that simple, but I don't want the pipes to be affected because that would mean changing inside the walls of the whole house. A nightmare. And I will change the filters every three months again. Let's do this. Okay, this was fairly tight. But after the initial pull, it starts moving freely. I have that in there. And now you obviously only make sure you take this thing off. And we have some paint on it, as you could see from the wall. As you can see, this remained in place. It's a bit tricky to move it and film at the same time, so I might move it and get back to you. That is already off. So now water will pour in there. Yeah, uh, there was a bit of a splash <laughs> when this fell down, so maybe you want to wiggle it just a little bit and not pull on it too much to let water drip mostly. But yeah, I need to lean it up. First filter is out. I will take a look inside the housing and see if I need to clean anything, but I don't see much in there. So that's great. This housing also doesn't have much. Here we have a bit of paint from the wall but it's clean. So that one filtered the particles, which is exactly what it should be doing. Still have some stuff, but they mostly, I think, are coming out of this, which, yeah, has done its job. This is the way to do it. I think this one was over tightened, honestly. That why, that's why it was actually stuck in there, because this one, as soon as I started to open this, water started to come out. So yeah, there's that. This one is already cleaned with those, so almost nothing. One of them I tried to clean the inside of this. Again, nothing. So yeah, we'll see about this one. But I think the glass itself or plastic, whatever it is, is still clean. And mostly the dirt is on the filter, but I need both hands because this will fall now. Hmm. What do you think? Did it filter something? <laughs> But again, this was in here for about nine months, I think, or something like that. More than it should be. I don't really remember this if you change it, but the app will tell us how quickly you need to change it. Uh, one of them or the carbon or this one needs to be changed uh, more frequently. I think the carbon actually, but this still stayed more than it should. And again, I'm not going to reuse this type when the good ones arrive. I'm going to change both both types at each three months. Yeah, but again, I wanted to show you that I cancelled that socket that shouldn't be there before ending this video. Let's get rid of this. And the plastic seems to be quite clean, the which is perfect. Just want to mention I have replacement uh, rubber seals, but I'm not going to change them now. I think I'm going to change them just once a year because these ones are looking like new. They didn't really care that they were in here tightened. I don't see any tightening marks on them. So yeah, I know they say to change them uh, sooner, but uh, nope. 
and this is what came out from the case of uh, this first filter so it's obviously more than from the second one so that one really did its job which is great even if I overused it it still did its job but don't overuse it not a good idea it will stop doing its thing and bacteria will grow inside of it first one in place and it's a pain to make sure that it centers on the top piece when putting this in so just wiggle it around move it and make sure it centers because otherwise it will not do its thing and you are unable to tighten it to make a seal here at the top so yeah Ta-da! both of them are in place now I'm going to start and give them water slowly and then from this one I will adjust when I allow water to go into the house to see them how they feel. Okay and we are filling up slowly. This one just a little bit opened up and the water should go away as everything starts to pressurize. Make sure you are not dripping anything and there are no drips in my situation allowing things to get to the same pressure slowly don't want to destroy anything and now we have full pressure okay slowly release that thing You can hear it. And the second it will go right there, we should hear it and also some water might go down. Still air and no more air. Simply close it and we are done. This is how you change the filters and now go to the app and reset everything. And we are in the app and uh, yeah, <laughs> replacement. Ooh, I should have uh, kept the papers for them. Be back in a second, I need to search them, I forgot about this. Okay, back in the app, let's hope it can still scan this, save, hey I said save, or back, ah okay, what, no, what, why didn't it work, save, oh server error, now this is nice, The moment you cannot change your filter because uh, the server isn't working. Let's do the second one. Or why did they look the same? Okay, this is a bit weird. Anyway, replacement. Save. Any day now can do it with our server. Yay! And you can see in the animation that it put our filters in the correct position exactly as we have them. And that's about it for this video. Water sensor in place. I wouldn't uh, like it without it. Socket gun. <laughs> and yeah. Put something like this in your house if you don't already have it. It will save you a lot of trouble later and also better water for you to drink. So that's about it. Hope this video helps you. In which case, please give it a like. Check out my other videos and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.